Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Busy slate today as we head into the weekend. Starting with the Cleveland Guardians versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Cleveland plus 170 with the over under at eight and a half. Cleveland coming into this matchup 56 and 60. The Rays 69 and 48. Pitching for the Guardians is Xavion Curry with an ERA of 2.95. Pitching for the Rays is Aaron Savale with an ERA of 2.55. Curry, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs at four strikeouts. Zavale, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs at four strikeouts. Cleveland coming off a Toronto win. The Rays coming off back-to-back -back St. Louis losses. Uh, Cleveland 2-8 and eight on the road against Tampa Bay here. Uh, both pitchers playing very well right now, and... Uh, I still like the Rays in this series, and uh, I'm going to take the Rays at home. Next matchup, we've got the New York Yankees versus the Miami Marlins. Miami opening up as home favorites at minus 145. The Yankees plus 120 with the over under at 8.5. Yankees coming into this matchup 59 and 56. Miami 60 and 56. Pitching for the Yankees is Randy Vasquez. With an ERA of 1.17. Pitching for the Marlins is Jesus Lazardo with an ERA of 3.52. Vasquez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had one strikeout. Lazardo, his last start, he pitched four, uh, five innings, gave up four runs, had eight strikeouts. Uh, Vasquez coming off two uh, no run games here. Yankees uh, coming off a bad White Sox loss. Miami coming off back-to-back -back Reds wins. Um, I really like Vasquez on the mound for the Yankees here. I think they're a good underdog today, and uh, I'm going to take the Yankees plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Cincinnati Reds versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Both teams in a pick -em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at nine. Reds coming into this matchup 60 and 57. Pirates 52 and 63. Pitching for the Reds is Andrew Abbott with an ERA of 2.93. Pitching for the Pirates is Johan Oviedo with an ERA of 4.18. Abbott, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs at three strikeouts. Oviedo, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs at six strikeouts. The Reds, uh, two and eight in their last ten. Uh, they are really aren't playing well. It coming off an Atlanta win. Um, yeah, the Reds two and twelve against Pittsburgh. They have not played well against Pittsburgh here. Abbott coming off two back to back games, just giving up ten runs in his last two. Avito is only giving up two runs in his last three. He's been very good on the mound here and. Uh, in a pick him scenario, I think I'm going to roll with the Pirates at home. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Minnesota plus 130 with the over-under at 9.5. Twins coming into this matchup 60 and 57. The Phillies 64 and 52. Pitching for the Twins is Dallas Kuchel with an ERA of 1.80. Pitching for the Phillies is Christopher Sanchez with an ERA of 3.44. Buchel, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had zero strikeouts. Sanchez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs, had seven strikeouts. Minnesota, on a three-game losing streak, coming off a bad Detroit series. The Phillies coming off back-to-back -back, uh, Nationals wins. Minnesota is just three and eight on the road. Not a good road team here. Um, Sanchez coming off a rough start on the mound, but he's had some good starts on the mound here. And uh, I think I'm going to lean with the Phillies at home. 
Next matchup, we've got the Oakland Athletics versus the Washington Nationals. Washington opening up as home favorites at minus 110. Oakland plus 100 with the over under at 9. Oakland coming into this matchup 33 and 82. The Nationals 50 and 66. Pitching for Oakland is Paul Blackburn with an ERA of 4.35. Pitching for the Nationals is Joan Adon with an ERA of 4.91. Blackburn, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts. Adon, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Oakland coming off a Rangers win yesterday. Washington coming off back-to-back Phillies losses. Oakland is just one and five on the road against Washington here. Um, yeah, I think I believe with the Nationals at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Cubs plus 125 with the over under at 9. Cubs coming into this matchup 59 and 56. Toronto 65 and 52. Pitching for the Cubs is Javier Assad with an ERA of 3.35. Pitching for Toronto is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 3.38. Assad, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up two runs at three strikeouts. Barrios, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs at six strikeouts. The Cubs coming off a Mets loss. Toronto coming off a Cleveland loss. Cubs are just one and five on the road against Toronto. So they've struggled on the road there. Pretty even pitching matchup, I'd say. Um... I still think Cubs are a good underdog. They've they've actually they are four and two against Toronto in their last six. And um yeah, I think I'm gonna take Cubs plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 170. The Mets plus 155 with the over under at nine and a half. Braves coming into this matchup 72 and 41. The Mets 52 and 62. Pitching for the Braves is Charlie Morton with an ERA of 3.86. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Megill with an ERA of 5.45. Morton, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had four strikeouts. Megill, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had three strikeouts. Braves coming off a Pirates loss. The Mets coming off a Cubs win. Uh, the Braves are 9-1 and one against the Mets. They've been pretty dominant against the Mets here. The even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up their fair share of runs here. And uh, I think I'm going to take the Braves on the road. Next matchup, we get the Detroit Tigers versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Detroit plus 130 with the over-under at 9. Detroit coming into this matchup 52 and 63. Boston 60 and 55. Pitching for the Red Sox is Chris Sale with an ERA of 4.58. Pitching for the Tigers is Tariq Skubal with an ERA of 3.67. Skubal, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Sale, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Detroit on a three-game winning streak, coming off a nice twin series. Boston coming off back-to-back -back Royals wins. Detroit 0-8 against Boston. 1-7 on the road against Boston. They've really struggled against the Red Sox here. And um, I think I'm going to lean with Boston at home. Next matchup, we've got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The Angels plus 155 with the over under at eight and a half. Angels coming into this matchup 58 and 58. The Astros 66 and 50. Pitching for the Angels is Reed Detmers with an ERA of 4.78. Pitching for the Astros is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 3.11. Detmers, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up seven runs, had four strikeouts. Verlander, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. 
the Angels coming off back-to-back -back Giants wins. Houston coming off a Baltimore loss. Angels are two and eight on the road against Houston, two and seven against Houston. They've been very bad head to head here. Uh, yeah, like Verlander on the mound, coming off three good starts on the mound here, and uh, I'm gonna take the Astros at home. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Chicago White Sox. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus one seventy. The White Sox plus one fifty five with the over under at eight and a half. Brewers coming into this matchup 62 and 54. The White Sox 47 and 69. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 3.42. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Kopech with an ERA of 4.43. Burns, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Kopech, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. The Brewers coming off a Rockies win. White Sox coming off a Yankees win. Brewers 4-1 um, and one against the White Sox. They've been very good head-to-head -head here. Uh, Burns coming off pretty solid starts on the mound. Just giving up two runs in each matchup here. And uh, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Brewers on the road here. Next matchup, we've got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Kansas City Royals. Cardinals opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Royals plus 110 with the over-under at 11. Cardinals coming into this matchup 51 and 65. The Royals 37 and 80. Pitching for the Cardinals is Adam Wainwright with an ERA of 7.81. Pitching for the Royals is Dylan Coleman with an ERA of 10.05. Wainwright, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up seven runs, had five strikeouts. Coleman um, does. I don't have any info on Coleman here. Um, definitely looks like he could be getting one of his first starts. Uh, St. Louis coming off back-to-back -back Tampa Bay wins. Royals coming off back-to-back -back Boston losses here. Um, yeah, don't really trust Coleman on the mound, and uh, I think I'm gonna lean with the Cardinals on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Padres opening up as road favorites at minus 160. Arizona plus 135 with the over under at 9. Padres coming into this matchup 55 and 60. Arizona 57 and 58. Pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell with an ERA of 2.61. Pitching for Arizona is Ryan Nelson with an ERA of 5.16. Snell, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs at eight strikeouts. Nelson, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up six runs at five strikeouts. The Padres on a four-game losing streak right now. Arizona, I mean, they're one and nine in their last ten. They really, they are just playing horrible here. Padres are seven and two against Arizona. Six and one on the road against Arizona here. Um, yeah, Nelson coming off some rough starts on the mound here. And uh, with Arizona struggling, I'm going to take the Padres on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Baltimore plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. Baltimore coming into this matchup 71-44. and 44. Seattle 62-52. and 52. Pitching for Baltimore is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 4.50. Pitching for Seattle is Lewis Castillo with an ERA of 3.28. Gibson, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had nine strikeouts. Castillo, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up seven runs, had six strikeouts. Baltimore coming off a Houston win. Seattle. Seattle's hot right now. They're nine and one in their last ten. I mean, they're playing great baseball here. Baltimore twelve and four on the road, playing great on the road. Both teams playing well. Pretty even pitching matchup. Uh, I still think Baltimore is a good underdog today, and uh, I'm gonna take Baltimore plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus three hundred. 
The Rockies plus 240 with the over under at eight and a half. Rockies coming into this matchup 45 and 70. The Dodgers 68 and 46. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 5.40. Pitching for the Dodgers is Lance Lynn with an ERA of 6.11. Gomber, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs at two strikeouts. Lynn, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run at six strikeouts. Colorado, um, on a two-game losing streak here. Dodgers on a five-game winning streak, beating the Rockies yesterday 2-1. to one. The Rockies are just 1-6 and six against the Dodgers here. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Dodgers at home in this one. Then the last matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the San Francisco Giants. Rangers opening up. Actually, it's looking like it is a pick scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 8.5. Rangers coming into this matchup 68 and 47. The Giants 62 and 53. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA of 3.72. Pitching for the Giants is Scott Alexander with an ERA of 4.01. Gray, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs at six strikeouts. Alexander, his last start, he pitched uh, one inning. Gave up three runs. Had zero strikeouts. The Rangers coming off an Oakland loss, snapping their big win streak they were on. Ranger, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, Rangers coming off an Oakland loss, and then Giants on a two-game losing streak here. Um, I still like the Rangers. I mean, they're playing great baseball here, and in a picking scenario, I think I'm gonna lean with the Rangers on the road in this one. That's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.